all my support we humbly beseech thee to bless this country and all who are engaged in the work of local government grant that they may order all things in wisdom righteousness and peace to the honor of thy name and the good of thy people who dwell in this city forever amen, amen. <laughs> Fellow councillors, management, and our esteemed guests, we welcome you to our 3,380th uh, council meeting. At this juncture, may you allow me to call upon the town clerk to pose the legal question of the day. Thank you, Worship, uh, <coughs> councillors of the city of Ulawayo, the management, esteemed stakeholders, and indeed the ladies and the gentlemen of the meeting. The legal question being confirmation of the minutes of the ordinary meeting held on the 6th of March attached as Anissa A, that is A to S. Thank you, Your Worship. Thank you so much. What does the house say? Sign. Thank you so much. <coughs> we then move to our next NHR, which is NHR B. Future Water and Action Committee. Fellow Councillors, Your Worship, Town Meeting Management, I move the report of the Future Water Supplies and Water Action Committee. Meeting held on the 5th of March 2024, as submitted, be received, and the various recommendations contained therein be adopted. Any second from the committee? Any second from the future water committee? Second. Two second. Thank you. <coughs> Any matters arising from the report? Any hands? Councillor Neta? Thank you, Worship. Item uh, two. <coughs> Anyone before item two? Item one. Uh, okay. Thank you, Worship. Uh, I see this report here on uh, pumping status. That on first of November it was the same report. Twenty seventh of November it was the same report, and on the thirtieth of January it was the same report. And then on the 5th of March, it was the same report. And then on the 8th of March, it was the same report with some uh, little bit of slight of change. Uh, what worries me is uh, the way we're handling AMA repairs it, especially UMA, UMA pumps. Uh, we, we see that we've got about 46 pumps. It's loud. 28 are functional, 24 are non-functional. But since November last year, only two have been repaired. <coughs> so I'm worried about that. Uti Slung Sen into Naleo, Future Water, Simone and Sens and Jan into Lay. We demand and we ask to be a matter of what? Of agency in dealing with Dama repairs. Thank you, Osh. Thank you. But while it's still there, Councillor Nepa, <coughs> are you aware that the Future Water uh, <coughs> Department of Committee does not do the repairs? Yes, sir, I'm, I'm away. I'm away. You are away. Thank yes. you. Yes. So yes. Yeah, I think we should direct that to the relevant. To the yes, 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Councillor Alvomo. Uh, which item? Item, uh, item six and item twelve. Yeah. Hold yeah, on there. <coughs> item before item six. Any other intervention? Uh, Councillor. Thank you, Mayor uh, Item two. I wanted to give the same that was to the council that uh, if I read very well, uh, I don't know if it's an error or commission instead of reporting or systematic error. But the report from future was uh, from item one to seven, if you check it very well, it's a record of January and April. I don't know whether it was mistakes or dates, it to see. But well, my, my case is on uh, the issue of water cleaver. In my understanding, that uh, 
AS the cancer we have failed to speak to the schedule of 120 hour reaching. And this has affected the, the resident. Uh, as we are aware that we are in a, a serious year of drought. So my feeling in my thinking was uh, the the committee was was going to or maybe it's a recommendation that the committee must look into internal local remedies or immediate solutions to make sure that the citizens, the residents, uh, have water as we understand that uh, of course the uh, conjunction with the comment of each land, but the language which they are speaking is the same in the in, in this area that water is is a uh, concern. And it has been my understanding that the government uh, has built seven million, I don't know, USD or RTGs in the month of January uh, for the training of uh, evolves. Those evolves are yeah, a, a, a very uh, important uh, item as in terms of dealing with water crisis in general as, as the council, because we understand which it was okay in the world, it cannot immediately solve the water crisis with immediate effect. Uh, but in last year, uh, ama ama boards now that we were promised by the government, and I don't know whether the money was availed or not. It can help us very well, and it is a charge to the uh, the committee of water to say uh, beyond uh, looking at the issues to do uh, our sources of water in terms of ama ama terms as now, uh, they can even uh, research. Because in my research, I was researching uh, this other town in in Botswana. Which is the crisis of water? What they did, they 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 they, they sourced for a land. Then they 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 created a plant, a plant whereby an investor came and did two big uh, bowls, whereby then they sourced the water from the bowls and then purified that water, a uh, uh, commercial. So it's better for us as a city to have water available regardless of the price than to have long queues in our. Uh, if it falls, some of them they are even dead. So it's better for the people who now have options either to buy water or then to chew. So I was saying this in a in nutshell that the committee uh, uh, taking note that select uh, out and use the and now we are not expecting any miracle now. It must come up with uh, recommendations or solutions or immediate ideas on solving. The issue of what it might be in the Mazama Bowls or Ama Ama plant place might be, they might be a, a commercial as long as I want to bring up. We are trying to China is for any way of land and those blue views. We are trying to sell Amas, but they have options either to buy or to wait for my people. What is we are solving the issue of water? Because the one thing uh, are not changing, the same for that, the council are failing to abide by it. I want to spend a more than a week with Amas, and there are no explanations. Only those impressors with the same uh, explanations uh, every time. So I think maybe the committee must sit down in, in their capacity of intelligence to come up with the proper uh, research that will give us limited solutions. Thank you. Thank you. Any other uh, item before six? Yes, uh, Councillor Maguto. Yeah, what is the similar item you I cannot approve? And also to one of the colleagues here, when you then you uh, uh, interjected your worship that uh, this committee does not deal with technical things. So the question which we then have is, why is the why are technical things being brought to the future water quality? There is a clash of there is a clash with the the engineering committee. At one point in time, your worship, if you recall very well, we clashed in this chamber in the previous council when we then raised the issues of the terms of reference of this committee. Is it a technical committee or it's a planning committee in terms of future work? So you will see that certain reports which are coming here, you will meet them in engineering. So there are certain things which need to be corrected so that this committee sticks to its mandate. If it is a planning committee, on future water, let it be restricted to that. Let us not import technical issues, which are engineering issues coming to the technical committee. Thank you. Thank you. The chairperson respond later. Councillor Eindlovu. Thank you, Your Worship, uh, TC and uh, 
pero Hans Lars del management. Um, clearly, uh, we have been very unfortunate to fail to have inflows into our terms. My, my contribution is to do with item one on the status of uh, water resources. And to expect any inflows on surface water, uh, I think it would be just to expect it too much because it is clear that the rainfall season is over. But then uh, we were made to understand that uh, we have Nyamandovo uh, Akpefa and our challenges there are vandalism. There is quite a lot of water. Our issues that need our attention are to do with the uh, capacitating the, the poles that need repairs. And there were issues raised to do with the, uh, the need for city council to work with government to try and uh, beef up security there. And I want to try and find out whether there is any movement on the part of Zeno in terms of uh, trying to step up the security so that uh, uh, security one and the issue of also helping us to capacitate the poles so that there is pumping uh, capacity for the Makwekwa Reserve. The second one is to do with poles. The poles are certainly going to play a major role in augmenting our supplies locally. Uh, I raise this point because I know of uh, communities that have realized the, 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 the tragic situation in which we find ourselves. They have come up, I'm talking about residents of Lawa. They've actually fundraised to try and assist the city council uh, develop some of the poles that were done but not completed. I want to appeal to this council to actually embrace such efforts from the residents who have fundraised and are willing to help city council to complete those uh, half-done projects. Thank you. What item? Thank you, Your Worship. I'm, I'm still writing on item two. Uh, mine is going to be first. I, I realize when I try and put the steps and the reports by the councillors on water, Almost every councillor is reporting a water, clean water base in, our, in the areas. And if you look at the reaction time that uh, our council employees take to respond to those water base, which is clean water, it's, it's too long. Sometimes it's between 24, I mean, 12 to 24 hours before they can react to, to this water that could consistently continue to be lost. Now, in the advent of such water, serious water shortages, uh, can, can the chair advise if there are steps that are being taken? Because I feel we are using a lot of water uh, to, 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 to base pipe. Yes, I agree and I fully concur that the, the infrastructure that our water is being distributed for is more than probably absolute. But we need to know the intervention measures that the, the authorities that are responsible for the department that we need to ensure that we arrest that animal. Thank you. Thank you. Any other intervention before item six? So that I give Councillor Dean Como. Go ahead, Councillor Dean Como, on item question. six. Item six, I'm <coughs> uh, My contribution is water uh, augmentation. Um, as you're all aware, uh, we've had one dam being built in Gola in the past 44 years. Whereas, um, between 1960 and 1976, with a damping every every five years, and I note uh, importantly that the the committee has noted the importance of the a number of projects, upcoming projects such as uh, a glass block, uh, which is noted in uh, item six and similarly in item twelve. It's exactly the, the exactly the, the same. I wanted to find out what is the status of um, uh, glass block. I was hoping that you have a caller that would indicate the status of those um, uh, uh, projects. If my memory says we were, we talked about the fact that you want to know the unit cost of the, the water. Do we know that uh, now, number one? Number two, what, what is the projected volume of water that we expect from glass block? Number three, where are we with the, the glass block? Chair, thank you. Thank you. Any other intervention? And item six, 
council at Dimabutu. Item 8. Anyone before item 8? Go ahead, answer them out. Item 8. Uh, thank you very much, Your Worship. Uh, item 8 speaks about the status of water resources and dam levels, Your Worship. Uh, to the chairperson and the committee of future water, it looks like we are faced with the ghost of 1992. <coughs> we will not worship that on 4 October, worship 1992. Three of city water's dams dried up. The city was only left with two dams, enough to supply the city for only 43 days. As of October uh, 1992, October 2022, roughly in estimation, it was about 13 million cubic meters of water. And when we look at where we are, I can see from the report that very soon will be decommissioned in Lower Nurema. Already, the one has already been decommissioned. And very soon will be in intensive care. The question which I have to the committee, Your Worship, as a planning uh, committee worship, uh, I want to pose this question. What inroads have they made in engaging the government? We only heard of promises, right? Was there any funding which was released by government to assist? Secondly, we said previously that Bulawa has to be declared the water crisis seat, right? What is the progress in regard to that? Because we spoke in this council, Your Worship, that these are the matters which must be taken seriously by Honorable Dr. Masuka, uh, Honorable Chitando, the Minister of uh, Water and the Minister of uh, uh, Local Government. So we hope our chairperson, our able chairperson, would be able to enlighten us here also on the progress in terms of uh, the urban forest and the Rochester, where we have got our cities high in the boards. What plans are there? What inroads have been made to assist the water in this crisis which we are faced, Worship? Thank you, Councillor Mabuto. Any other contribution? Sorry, Councillor Bonel Pamti Zalta. Good right. Sorry. Okay. Right, you are still on item eight. Corner of Kuluma, anything before we move to the next item? Okay, we are done with the item. Uh, Councillor Otingomo, we said another item is an item. Yeah, item 12 is actually mm. similar to uh, item, uh, item, item 6. Mm. So, for example, I also wanted to raise the issue of the Kwai Shangani. If you read item 6, it says Kwai Shangani 75%, 75% completion. If you read it again, item 12, March, mm. it says 75% completion. Mm. There appears to be no progress. I'm not blaming the committee, but I'm saying we should also be very aggressive when you engage government about the water projects, otherwise the city will actually die. We are not seeing progress even from the government side, but I think that's the one. Item 6, item 12, uh, same things reported on, and some of the terms that are supposed to be like Shangani, no progress, still 75%. Go back to uh, December again, and, and September last year, you know, still the same percentages in terms of completion. <coughs> Councillor M. Moyo. Mm, thank you, Worship. Today I'm glad that uh, my fellow councillors who are uh, arguing about the feasibility start have seen what we had seen before. Which item is that, Councillor Moyo? On item 12. Okay. Yes, as the visionaries, we concerned about making sure that the city has got sufficient water and we are bringing statistics uh, each council. And unfortunately, some of our colleagues were not in support of us. Uh, bring valid and viable feasible solutions to the city of Ulawa. We are concerned that the city will get to such an extent where we will lack water and even going forward, if we check uh, uh, the, the weather forecast, 
it's no longer going to be favorable because of climate change. So I'm here now that you are speaking with the one language, no one is no longer talking about feasibility studies. But my concern, the mayor of the city of Bulawayo, Honorable uh, Senator David Coltart, has always been talking about uh, the Southeast Corridor. So maybe in, in the reports that we are having here in front of us, uh, there are no such statistics that they are speaking to those uh, actionable, uh, actionable points that are being taken. Councillor Mashtam was also mentioning that, that we are supposed to see that maybe uh, concerning class block, you have progressed this far. You are talk also talking about drilling some 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 balls. I think you know fountain there. You also need to see such action points. Uh, the statistics where we are going because we can't come here as the, the city fathers and city mothers and pretend as if everything is well in a city where there is no water. So my point is that can this committee go and fine tune their reports so that they speak to what we're going to report out there that concerning the Southeast Corridor of Gonzo so much, maybe concerning the repairing of the Yaman Globe Aquifer, we have gone this far. It is very important, like I, I always say that uh, Bulawa is losing investment because there is no water in the city. So when we are now speaking in one voice, I am glad and I'm going to thank my pastor at church who has been praying that all the things that I've been talking about, people should understand. <laughs> so I'm so grateful, grateful to my fellow councillors. Uh, maybe a message to this committee. Let's go and fine tune the reports so that they speak a simple language that we can go and get and uh, uh, articulate to our residents that uh, uh, maybe on this item, you are now uh, 50%. Here, maybe you are commencing, it's now uh, maybe on research and the foundation stage. Maybe here, we are now 90%. Because people are banking on this house to come up with the solutions. We cannot go, I'm in the finance committee, I'm the chairperson of finance committee. If we are now saying let's drill poles, it means that at the end of the day, the council will, will not have money because you don't get anything from those poles. But uh, the city of council business is to make sure that we are selling water to the residents. Those, uh, the, those, that income can only come when we have got a, a treated water that is coming from someone's chip and you are harnessing to make sure that we get uh, the much needed finances to also uh, uh, undertake some of the projects, such as even road. I know this is another issue, but as the city of Council, as the city of Ulao, if you have money even from other uh, outlying activities that you are doing, we can then say if there is any excess surplus, then you can take to those projects. Thank you. Economy of Nukulumale reports in a running chairperson will comment. Councillor Esmo. Sorry? Ubu Pams is under item ten and go on. I can go at Lokulum and we are clear from eight to four. What I quiet. Item ten. Issue of water cure. And out of it, 23, I think most of them are seven. I think 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 I because of the crisis of water, the purpose of those uh, water kills is our nagali over our servants. So, so tell you to know everybody number, but can you do the miners are my servants? And how long does it take to plant the illogos and water kills? See, they met very long day, okay, but it has taken more than two years. Thank you, Councillor S. Moyo. Any other intervention? Okay, before I give the chairperson the opportunity to respond to some of the issues raised, the turn with the Kulme one or two. Then, oh, Kala E. Amanzi Kasila is a city. 
I time tip we are far away recover within the ninjas that are too long along a lynch, but as long as the man's and allow any echo, there is nothing the city can do. The council and as councillors, we are the ones who should then inform our residents where we reside. With the Amans Gawako, Latin Aruna Banava complain now. With the Amans Victoria, we are going to be young. I pay the name of the upper figang. I will have pressure because I will have mass. Civil crisis situation. That's point number one. Point number two, council, councillor MT Mod. In future, I will go in Jalan of Cotton Town. You are not putting on a suit. Nam Tan Zabalini. Then point number three. He issue future water. He deal on a man's outside future water. Yen Zela Kulunga. What do I? If future is informed by the current, the present, it is very, very vital and important with our statistics. See the law. With a man's Gumegan, Jamatemu, Hambagan, Jagan. That one is very, very important. And that report shall always feature each and every month. Yes, here we find a January, February, March, April. For example, Kwai Shangani, you go seventy five percent. It report a commit as was a change eight, so go eight percent, you know, value seventy five. Remember, Liana, you put my fiscals, you have budgeted for, we are all away, so I only budget with the allocated money for Kwai Shangani. Then coming to Ama interventions, are is well here. Okay, ask block. A labo aquifer and so forth. In class block, I think last month it was reported. With the Bullet Committee, Air Ketwa, there is a technical committee, Air Ketwa Minister, because of the technical committee, Air Ketwa, Ele Council, Lavantwe class block. As a presenter, their report, I think it's one. Then we presenter, their report, UA4, this is a Kanya Konalab. That is where the issue of the price of water will be. Uh, given to us. Then he purchased agreement to serve my OTC sign. He's a sign upon the Swan Yutamans as a customer. And secondly, a manzi, which has a woman Ganani from glass block, but he's 70 cubic meters, I think, somewhere there. I'm not sure, but, but as a cover, he percentage a till a man's a bubble hour. So that is a little bit to win that report to be civil. Then with regard to Aquifa, that report, Councillor Moyes, we are cancelling commit. There is something on that. If we are when this report was had already been prepared. So it's Aboy. So these are the, some of the issues. Then Te Suarez, which is the son of Sibeni Ndawa. Let's, we are the ones who should explain to the residents as their representatives. We are trying to Aboy, then lend away my kiosk. Kiosk. Lamapo, there are non revenue water sources, Zagobulawa. It can't say less when Zagatess. I think we made a resolution, if you can recall where. Well. With the Ama Bowls, Afile Wonke, it can't say Liza, the Zagatess alumnus. But it can't say Liza, it's really Ama Bowls. It's alumnus and allow a Velenjan, a Vele Ecole. And there's such any issue for Terry as well. You issue him. I would declare a seat as a water crisis area. This is your president who declare a leisure long, because I declare a seat. So it gives us the leeway now to approach our donors with asking like this. Mobile is a country in crisis because of this drought induced by El Nino. So it's now a national disaster. Yes, we've been crying with this declare as a water crisis area. We have been declared together with other cities and the rest of the country. So that one is coming. Uh, anyway, let me give this opportunity to the chairperson of the Future Water Committee to respond to issues raised. Councillor Zichka, you will see you to call off on Kulu Mayin, Sinagai, and the Amakros and the Marks on that particular item. You did not raise your hand, sorry. Then you will chairperson, Ms. Kat. Yeah, we Everything that is responding. Okay, I'm a concerns, I'm a councillor's, but I'm a little bit of a committee. I'm a committee. I'm a committee. I'm a 
sinanzele ukuthi sile iphutha elikhulu especially kuma kiosk lapana le 120 hour shedding ukuthi si si notify na nini masinyani kusasele sikhathi maybe 3 days or 4 days before silethe umbiki ukuthi ama pamset ukathi si efenile aphambi kahle sizaphuza ukuletha manzi indaweni ezithile lezithile kodwa ke noted ma councillors yabo Thank you. Let's move to Anne Chassi, Health, Housing and Education Committee, Councillor Moyo Kumada. Uh, His Worship, a town clerk, um, fellow councillors, council management, media fraternity, and the esteemed guests. I move that the report of the Health, Housing and Education Committee meeting held on the 12th of March as submitted, be received and the various recommendations contained therein be adopted. Thank you. Any seconder from that committee? Thank you, seconder. Any letters arising from the report? I'm seeing Councillor Odinkomo. Which item? Uh, two. Anyone before item two? Open item one. Go ahead, Councillor Ngomo. Thank you, Worship. Uh, my contribution is on uh, on waste management. That's item um, item two. I notice, or uh, which includes awareness and enforcement. I note that we during the month under review, I think 11, 11 people were eleven eleven residents were were fined for litter related uh, uh, you know, uh, issues. But when you look at the city, the city is still very, very, very dirty. I propose that we, we strengthen our enforcement. These days you see people throwing litter out of cars. Um, whether we do patrols, whether we compel business owners to make sure that the areas are, 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 are clean. So number one is the issue of um, enforcement. Surely, with all this litter, we need to have more enforcement. Number two, I think we also need a, a, a measure, a way of measuring the cleanliness of the city. I know internationally they've got the Clean Cities Index, which measures how a city is clean. Uh, we've reported very well on the number of street sweepers and so forth. If possible, we could also have such an index, Clean Cities Index, which measures the cleanliness of the city Per, per, per street. I think that will help us in terms of actually measuring whether we're actually becoming cleaner or we're actually having a lot of activities and less cleanliness. And maybe my last contribution on that would be maybe we also need to look at the role of um, the, the non formal waste pickers because there's quite a number of them that are not in our system. We need to look at having a, a integrating them into our, um, into our waste management. Uh, policies and our bylaws, because I think they play a very key role in terms of uh, keeping the, the city clean. I thank you. Thank you, Councillor Nkomo. Councillor Obi, which item? Still on the same item, item two. All right. Thank you, Worship. Nisa Tingibuze, a good chairperson of the committee, who would equal an inimzamo, a CNZ way, a kind of committee lay uti. Kwa manyama wat, ogu ngeela e, kubuta wezibi, totali, e, kodwa, so kukozi kutisibe lo kukusha ngobula wai. For example, I speak about Ikaudru Baki. We have two words, e, ezi ngeela kutikuya buya guzo kutwa izibi. E, I think kutala kwa kutwe kakula mkwa, katikatesi. Is in the West Lama Best Roads uh, so far. Or is the Umele's water water as a fee is not as a con. We have a community, a, a, a consent in Mugshala Gushe, where they held. They do ama cleanups, why would turn Sizi, Zinabutana, Kagulo's Tatai, the pin does it take a foot. So, uh, it was a good committee, Lewuti, Ukona Ini. Okuona Ute is Villezes as a boot. Mova Uncushani, who's a swazon is on down, who's on gain a gulao, Amalusha Utoizi, 
Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Owe. Okay. Any other intervention? Councillor M. Timo Mafuti. Stand up. Which item? Thank you, you worship in HA. I take 10 Anyone before item 10, Councillor Maveza? Uh, in love, which item? Uh, it is item two. Item two. Quiet, Councillor Eldo. Uh, I want to compare with uh, Councillor Pomo on his concern uh, that uh, how does a city as huge as Bulawayo only have 11 people arrested for littering? <laughs> I, I, I find it really <laughs> unbelievable that uh, I think our levels of leniency have gone too far. We need to really strengthen our mechanism of uh, making sure that uh, people must get arrested. People must be fined. I think these are some of the leaky revenue sources that we can leverage on. I think we need to understand that uh, the clean cities attract investment. Clean cities attract tourism. And uh, it was always the pride of each and every one of us to come to a clean city. And if you look at uh, the examples of other neighboring uh, cities or even countries where we normally say you will not see litter scattered all around, they have come up with punitive measures, punitive measures of enforcement to make sure that uh, if you throw away even a, a little piece of paper, we need to have mechanisms to make sure that uh, uh, people are penalized for that. Thank you. Thank you. Any other intervention before item five? Councillor Mabeza, item five. Mm, thank you, Oshik. Um, item five on synergies. Um, I don't know if that's Hyde Park. There are houses close to Hyde Park. And if I realized, when I was passing by, I realized that kids play uh, inside the cemeteries on top of Amanwala, Abaninas. So I was actually of, of an opinion, Yoguti, is it possible? And Yoguti, Lapana, Ufawe, if things, Kumbe, Ufawe, Ichirao. Because to me, when I saw it, I didn't see it well with me. Yoguti, Nabantu, Anasebekula, Vejalela, Endawenez, Injaro, it becomes something else. So that's my contribution also. Thank you, Councillor Mabeza. Any other contribution before item eight? <laughs> Thank you. What we'll tell item eight, Mba? We can take ten. Any other before item ten? Councillor Meli Tobega Moyo. Thank you. Item ten. I think item 10 is a marriage of convenience with item 2. It speaks on solid waste management. Uh, the, the committee ha highlighted their 10 points of action, which I found in my disclosure very key uh, to the progress of managing our environment as a city. But then when we are here as councillors and as management, we need to have honest co conversation that they can, can bring them to uh, solid uh, solution in addressing concrete uh, challenges we are facing in the city. We have failed uh, to clean up Gulawa, uh, that's the honest truth. Uh, since the investment of uh, our mayor with his team let's clean up Gulawa up to date, I feel like we have done so much uh, uh, clean up a, a campaign, but up to date, if you go around the CBT, even in our communities where, in our communities where we are coming from, the city is still dead. Then I want to speak on uh, the on on that ten point plan. There's issue. Uh, there's point number seven, which speaks of purchasing beans, uh, costing thirty six thousand U United States dollar. If my memory serves me very well, uh, Councilor Mpumelele at some point in general raised the motion that uh, let's adopt a policy whereby all business centers or all shop owners purchase. Uh, beans, uh, it might be two, three, or five, depending on the space and the cover that we put them in. 
so that uh, we don't have a scenario whereby we we, we do clean up a campaign. People they will pick up litter, but they don't have any to place that litter. So we we'll be, <laughs> we'll be doing a merry go round situation without any solution. So my problem and my challenge with, with, with this council, the ideas are very noble and okay, and we applaud to that, but we lack enforcement. And it defeats the whole people for us to come and sit here and debate. Because our duty is to debate and come up with, with solutions. We are, we, are, we, are, we are not here to cry or to speak uh, a problems, but we are here to debate and come up with solutions. Then if you come up with solutions, <coughs> there is no enforcement at, uh, at all. So that's our challenge, which I think uh, on the item, item A7, there's no need for the council to spend 36,000. Whereas we have business uh, owners, which have a corporate responsibility to give back to the community by purchasing things that can uh, uh, notice us in that item. And also on the item six, which speaks of enforcement, it has no budget. It's the very ch uh, cheapest one, which I think this council must divert its energy on. Let's make sure that we are very thorough template to the issues of enforcement. Because it defeats the whole people to sit here, make laws and your department, uh, your duty to fail to implement. To us, when we are doing the oversight role, we feel intimidated and at the same time irritated with the lack of enforcement. So let's focus on that. It's very critical and it's very important for the city. Then if your worship, you will allow me to move on the last item, item 15 on commit service. No, no, no. We are still on item 10. Item 10. Yeah. I'm done with that. Yes. Usam me the one for council more. Yeah. I want to allow the committee to come in the 10-point it is full of heavy enforcement. Then I know we solo with the enforcement. Then the Kuluma with the definitely Sorry, maybe you you worship. I I use the bad English. Let me speak in the name. Yes. In the corner, you put in. But this is over over when I I can't see the name. August and and December. In two terms, I I have said so far. This is this has been a point of debate. Okay. David contacted the mayor in his absentia. He came with the team. Let's clean up now. Okay, then we 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 uh, the councillor, the finance chair, came with the motion general that uh, all business owners must uh, purchase business. So we rescue it. Sorry, which ama ama business is now the the children are being taken. Ama pinda so that the citizens are able to manage it. But uh, now since we pay, but we are the ten point plan. A clear and it is very no. But when I eat it, $36,000, I spend it. It has been a motion. It has been a motion. Which saves in the corporate mandate of every business owner in the city of Pulawa. Because it has been a motion, but it has failed to be implemented. So, the issue on their point is not on the idea of proposing, but it's on the idea of which, instead of them attempting to spend the money, I'm aware of to enforce emotion already that was put in place. Eh, no, Jenna. Yeah, so, that one I agree with you. Yeah, I'm also But yeah. when solo reinforcement, it's what we're going to enhance our city. I am enforced. But we lay my opinion on the session, correct? Yeah. In this house, Sakul Mamako, with each and every shop, it must be mandatory. Yes. With even let me pass. It must also be mandatory. With the, each shop, it can be cleanliness yeah. surrounding us. We are great in that one, we are spot on. But when his men, he may be, as well encourage you, we can't have a stella corner, but we enforce it. Then the next meeting, because we are to be the eye, and the enforcer, and the last stella in our previous meeting. But in that one, we are spot on. May you kindly sit down. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any other intervention? Uh, Council and Dovu and in the number 16. Any other before item 16? Yours was item 15. Any other item before 15? Right, maybe go ahead, item 15. Thank you, Your Worship. I will be for item 15 on social work activity. Within the Wayama Reds, within the Wayama Community Road, within the Wayama State. For a brief on red uh, repeat, I think it's an initiative as a proper uh, a council who understand that the society in our classes are genuine. Uh, people with old age, our pensioners, our work, work at ETC, 
I think this idea must be well communicated to our citizens. And it must be made, it must be user friendly in nature. Because there was only our player and this is to be part of this initiative, but they spent more than four years without any response. Abanya Abaseko M7, what is to waiting for for this initiative to be passed? Then on committee was good yesterday, a council. Then as the other community was a sexual sense of the general commission, he sent us to amass, to write Kali Amas capital as. As the council, which is okay, but we just say because we have young people uh, in our society, and I feel I'm speaking this note because it's the right council which deals with youth. There's been a, 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 a serious pandemic in your worship and council that if you are not aware, that is rising in our community, which is which is supposed to be treated with agents. Because in as far as we are focusing on service delivery, the people who are who are delivering services, the majority are trying. Are dying with drug and substance abuse. So they will just tell you what I used to a lack of escola and Avalanda or Ezo Sana, Avalanda or Ezo practice are into the West Chino, it might be art sports, etc. So they will just tell you as with our community walls now at Tony Valley from Monday to Sunday, unless if the church, the church is booked, or if us, the council, have our feedback meetings. So we will take as part of the property of council that's supposed to benefit them in trying to make sure that we move them from the street. Maybe it would be a totally vanilla and any load, ending our formula and take a council, it be a song and it might be youth in arts. They practice, as you know, it is it is good in, in art and culture. So my council has a woman, 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 do you, Sandra? You can attest to, to, to that that we have done in terms of us, but they don't have a platform where they can engage uh, as their people so as to eradicate uh, them from uh, abusing drugs. And uh, it, 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 it goes back to the issue of also uh, Ama Clinic, uh, the worship that we have as council of communities. We will just tell like you to sing our two lives in Ama, we may stand our clinic and we have the rehabilitation center. So that we love our self with Ama drugs and our self beyond the way of repairing the two day Ama platforms, the Ama center where they can be assisted even in counseling. All three now, Kuma State and the Strela, you know, she began in CPA last week. You won again, uh, it teamed, uh, it was. If you I saw, I, I said, who could state, I think maybe because last year it has been used by so many people, uh, by so many teams, including Dana Mostimbara from, uh, it's so special. Let's just tell us what it can say, it will not be easy repair, it will not be because to us, it has. It 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 complicates a, a a lot from this region. So this this just thing as you know, EPA from the dressing room, even the, to the terraces. You know, can now all follow a, a state. I mean, other states which are being made uh, around the country uh, are can now go. So this just tell you EPA for you to EPA for you state. They can get the attention and uh, get a cancer maybe in terms of ama ama repairs. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. What the advice? I mean, those communities don't exist. Low bar, our councillors within that committee. We will lap our full council so we recommendation. Because as we pass your all your ideas are excellent, but the proper channel is low bar that committee. Then my committee will let all our members go back. That that is item fifteen. Any other intervention? In item fifteen before we go to item sixteen. Councillor Wogan Box. Yeah. Uh. Just to add or propose, would Sanga and from the all the items as could know Councillor O Moyo. Uh such as to good since he cancelled, Shlaumbe Ilobun Zima, Bogu Faga all those facilities. As colours and machine and councillor mo Kunan would you see? Si partner, sitting among private players who can partner, he can sell what is those and those are because this is communities, communities, and a la totally zone is into like we speak of a uh, community hall or what he nailing away what six kung a pila pung a shangana corner. I want to be in some shangan, umbe kung a pung a chat de la conavant. So those things are funaga la community. I'm a recreation centers. Work or total, but he Siagunan Zelela would see who economy a bed for now. Gunan would see Vuleni, 
sitingi lela ama closes anga enzo uti sitole ama private players who can chip in be fagas on ezo zinto. One condition is he won a we we don't lose out as e cancel. So my suggestion is to his partner ama private players on those things. This is what he said. Thank you. Councillor Endo for item 16. Go ahead. Yeah, well, was, uh, AM, number 16 was the so the Council schools. Yeah, okay. I think we raised it previously as well. The issue of the Gube flexible. We have a number of funa maybe we have a bank, but change our pass away of fluids at this and that. In Tetu, it's very straight. I think I appreciate that contribution. Thank you. Any other contribution after item 15 or item 50? Councillor Maposa. <laughs> Uh, allow me to, to thank the U.S. Embassy uh, and also the book aid in donating to our, to our libraries. Uh, I think uh, it has been consistent in helping our, our libraries in, uh, in material uh, things. Uh, so we, we would want to applaud them and thank them for, for their gesture. Uh, coming also to 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 e committee, I think uh, we need to zero in more of capacity in our libraries A2 in terms of our computers. Most of our libraries they've been connected, but they lack our computers. So I think attention should be uh, drawn to that area so that we we help our youngsters in terms of. Uh, e, 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 e. E-learning e, 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 e and using of our computers in this day and age. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Maposa. Any other intervention? Councillor K. 
as a member of the committee. See a woman, see an anzeri and comment a woman. Good to all waste management. See a woman would eat to look for him or Lily. What again? Sassy invite us at Tedama Council as Wonke, a end that was a rest in Neo, Ama residency in Ali for the Lyo, Stella listening at his away reinforcer um teto, Uti e doti in a Savala. See as Ama, Amanda, on foot is his uncle collector, Lapas collector, Conavesa City, a Mayu, Ula Mawati, Essinga has a figure corner. Stella, my respective councillors, Abala, my problems, but in terms of the person, in thinking, I echo now my WhatsApp. Mrs. City, Parag, we to rob, we let dirty, we pull up, pull it. Another word also, a business area, a hilo, hilo, so la kubla wa. What do I guess is a Stella and Jalo, we think that we engineering committee. Is Stella and Jay, we think, we let me go and change on six avenue, you and me, let me go and let my vendors. Best kind of the corner, a cool room bay, sing a good nigga, itty eye, when the two way room tate to reinforce the lapan, being a shady one can dab. The nuns are the little gube la mapping, near one of us. Thank you. Any other intervention in this report before I give the chairperson of the committee to wrap it up? Conof no kulumaram, the winner lay report. Thank you. We are going to check person. Is a comment on enforcement. Enforcement. Sing a tiga wala enforcement. Ito lo poli ngodi le malo chini le ngodi le. Me na lao ito gome le si enforce. We must be our brother's keeper. Unga wano mte la si zivi umbo pisi we na unga linde la ma police ay cancel. Gambe anga iko ni si ito lo poli lo te abe evwe la pumta la sakoni pe. It's our truth. As citizens of this great city, which is the one with the Agula Montes Megala Elasha Mape. Ama enforcement agents, Gula Tis Council, Gule Emma, Emia Patalis Malen and Gaku. Ungabonu Mutu Ambesala Chizila for Melan Elasha Corner, Quebabe Emma, Quebama Police, as a therapy, Quebabe Council. Now we can do a citizen's arrest as well. So good local as enforcing Sonke Nini. It's up to me and you to keep our city clean. I need to put in your value to cancel live our enforce enforce. But I'm saying the enforcement is it is wrong. La pesta la kona ga ube smart ga ube clean. Masi nga wano munto la si zivi ngbo ngbo li sayo. Gube yi te si ngene la si intervene. Si chukute hai. Si akala kwa chwa wanda ba 11. Kwa tomna ahambi saba yi 15. Mba ahambi saba yi 10 ga wako chwa. Sing at this linde, the council will ever walk by. The council cannot be everywhere. Tinaiti, a siba everywhere, is our one to our popular song. Council has included. So it's our truth, each and every one of us will want to tell up a little. Since we're not listening. Chairperson, can you wrap up your report? If you have got any comment. Thank you, fellow councillors, for all the contributions. As a committee, we are going to, we are noting with great concern. Yeah, some of the, I think most uh, of the contributions were comments, opinions, and the uh, uh, recommendations. So we are going to look into each and every issue as a committee. I think there were concerns on symmetries, solid waste management, uh, schools and the uh, recreational centers. For schools, we heard what uh, our colleagues are proposing. We are taking everything into cognizance, but uh, I think we are supposed to comply with our policies in some of the issues. Yes, we are going to look for partnership and already we are partnering with, with some of our stakeholders <coughs> like Hileta Day Sense. Is he helping us here and there as a, as a, as a department or as a council? Then uh, to issues of solid waste management and uh, littering within the city, I think uh, the, his worship has already uh, alluded to the issue of e -E reinforcement, which is our um, councillors, we are supposed to work hand in hand like, with the, those who are enforcing the law since we are policymakers, we are supposed to encourage 
and discourage those who are doing uh, willingly the littering. Then the issue of uh, lagging behind, uh, Councillor Moyo alluded to our 10 points. We are trying uh, to work very hard to improve yeah, in all the identified areas as a, as, a, as a committee or as a department. But I think we are all aware that as a council, we are, we are, we are facing uh, serious financial challenges. So we are lagging behind mainly due to serious financial challenges. And also, I think we know that we are short staffed so we don't have enough uh, seat, seat sweepers within the city. Again, I encourage my fellow councillors, that is councillors, let's uh, try to encourage and motivate the residents to pay rates so that we can, uh, maybe we can collect a reasonable revenue, which can uh, help us to improve here and there. I think it's our duty to keep our city clean. It's our duty to develop our city. Let's try to help work hand in hand with our residents, with the business community. We all know that we are not getting revenues, even for the, uh, from the business community. We are failing to get hard cash, even from the residents, we are failing to catch hard cash. But all the interventions which are, we are supposed to do are demand for encourage. Thank you. Thank you. What should we do to the report? Move. Thank you. Let's move to Alex Chadi, Environmental Management Committee, Chairperson for the FC Chairperson. Boss, I move that the report of the Environmental Management Committee chair and Services Committee meeting here on 18 March 2024 is submitted to be received in the various recommendations contained during the adoption. Thank you. Any seconder from this committee? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Arising from the report. Councillor uh, S. Moyon. Item 9. Before item, item 9, item 2, Councillor Rindan Moyon. Sorry? Item 2. Item 2. Right. Can, do, can start on item. Uh, Councillor Matsana. Oh, go ahead, Councillor Matsana. Thank you very much. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's on uh, fire and ambulance uh, services. I, I, I have noted uh, your worship. Uh, I'm sure some of our councillors, even um, members of the public, have also seen uh, the trucks that we got from, from Belarus as ambulances. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, I, I, I feel. Uh, I've also spoken to some of even the, 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 the council workers, and even if you are to take a look at the ambulances that we got from, from, from Belarus, which were purchased through the government, I, 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 I would <coughs> want to think, because if we think, uh, I feel like the government was not fair on us as a council, because uh, those trucks, uh, if I, 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 I wouldn't want to believe that those trucks can actually get on point in time. And even if you are to look at the, the, the structure and how it was uh, probably designed, I would want to propose that next time in the event that maybe you want to purchase uh, those fire trucks, uh, the government or whoever is responsible, uh, I think they should also uh, consult even uh, um, uh, the council so that you don't get trucks which cannot even be used for anything. As far as I know, I've seen even right now, wherever there is uh, attendance, you give, those trucks are hardly used. Uh, probably because of the size that they are too high, they cannot even maneuver in our roads. I don't know what Belarus region, but those trucks, I don't think they were, they, there was justice uh, on us as a council in purchasing those trucks. Uh, that's my contribution. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone on item one? Can you go item two? Yeah, well, I'm item two. On Ama Best, I have noticed which the number of best ever high from which January, basically 94, purchased only 101. As it was, which was a figure which June, Gabby Minja, and say, and as the Lutim Sound begins, what in the Amans are Puza, who wear an armor pipes, a shale, and a damn got again. I'm concerned with the department with the Agulas in Lila. I want to say that I'm going to call me to 
Pela i amanzi is a precious liquid to go blow oil. Amanzi in pillow. So unless it's chuna says he lose a amanzi. Actually, I think it's the Shangana, the Winsima Obukul. Nyesha item two again. Ula Panabate Valley Motor is the twelve out of twenty. Ogumele is the kitchen is in ninety seven gelok. I basically city I propose to the committee. Ogoti. Gaba prioritize the pillar. Oh, what him lap or buyer was when I end our lap or old to work on another cool. Gabuveli bought a veil as much as the sugar glaze on down. Buyers as if he attend the old pines. Yabo Angela and Danimo. Thank you, Lord. I want to speak to item two relating to the issue of best water, the best water pipes. Now, I also want to echo similar concerns about uh, this high number of water tests. And then, equally tied to that, is the issue of communication and feedback. Uh, there is always an echo feedback regarding challenges that lead to the inability to attend to some of these sites. And as uh, representatives of residents, uh, we are also left in the dark because after reporting, all you get is a reference number, and it ends there. And then you have to keep calling to check uh, all the progress. I would propose a scenario where, uh, on a week by week basis, we are given a report of reports that have been made, uh, faults that have been attended to, and faults outstanding, as well as the responsible person. Uh, on each of those faults. This can be tabulated according to each reference number that has been issued uh, on a weekly basis. This will enable us to be on the same page and to be fully aware of whatever challenges we'll be obtaining at that particular time. I thank you. Thank you, Councillor Moyo. Any other intervention still on that item two? Councillor Matlang, then we both after. I want, I want a clarity on what obtained, especially on this case that obtained on the weekend. There is hardly any reaction. Uh, is there a specified number of cases that are allocated to ensure that this case on clean water? attend to the weekend issues, we would realize that from most of the areas we receive water on a Friday, and because of the pressures, uh, when this water comes, would be open at around 1700, 1800 hours in the late afternoon or in the early evening, and people start receiving the same water around 2000 hours, and then water is okay later into the night and they are reported, but that water will flow throughout the weekend and in some instances to a point where that water has got to be cut off. It would still be flowing. Now my question is, because we know we are working on an infrastructure that is dilapidated and obsolete, uh, are there any interventions that are being made to ensure that when this base of care and they are reported over the weekends are attended to, given the seriousness that uh, this water shortage is posed to the residents. Because we are always confronted with the situation where the residents are saying, we are quick to allocate and close water. Uh, in some areas before water even comes out, it's gone. But you don't react to water based for three days. <coughs> uh, clearly, even if we are the advocates of council in ensuring that we send the right messages and communicate effectively and efficiently to the residents, we are left in a situation where sometimes you know to you have nothing to respond. And second, those numbers that we we have on our group where we respond and we get reference numbers, they are not responded to when you phone. I don't know whether it's by design that on weekends that WhatsApp number is only available on WhatsApp and nothing else. So, in, in a nutshell, uh, Your Worship, this presents a serious challenge in terms of the operationalization of the efficient working in council. Can we come up with a structure and a system like Councillor uh, uh, Adrian Rengani 
uh, uh, mentioned earlier that let's not only be effective in acknowledging the reports and giving references, but let's come up with a working system that speaks to the challenges. Because after the time when you call a departmental head or director finding out whether a certain uh, a, a reference has been attended to, the question will be asked. Ah, about this? <laughs> so it clearly points to a gap, not only between the city council, the councillors and, 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 and management, but even from the management and their subordinates themselves. There's a serious missing link or a misalignment in terms of how these things obtain. And number two, sometimes you report and you are told there is no there's no car to attend to such issues. But in the same area, I don't know because we don't know these departments, these cars have put certain numbers that they have, and they are themselves who know which car belongs to which department. You have areas where you're told there's no transport, you can't do anything. And you, you meet these council cars in the neighborhood, in the woods. They're driving back and forth and even some of them crossing over those best pipes. I wouldn't want to mention one that I met over the weekend in Woodville and I asked them, but they're driving over water and you are driving past with reckless abandon. You are a council employee. He says, I don't belong to that department. So there, there, is, no, there is no ownership. There is no job ownership in city council. Uh, where I come from myself, even if I were to, to, to belong to, to, to an operations department uh, or a finance department like myself, when I find there is a problem on the railway line, I report to the department and ensure that because I'm part of the company, I give effective reports that will ensure these people stand up and come and attend, as opposed to when the report would have been given by a layman. But this does not appear to happen in city council. I don't know whether it's an issue of motivation or it's an issue of the lack of basic, deliberate lack of basic approach to, to the job, or it is because the, 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 the constant at city council is that you, 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 you don't regard anything that, that, that is of concern to the residents. But clearly, something is not working in, in this department or in the whole city council, because there is no communication whatsoever. Even mere feedback to say, we are unable to attend this. The good response is a reference number, which speaks to nothing, if you are to be honest with one another. So can we look into this? And if there is need, I want to recommend that, let's restructure this department. And if council management is unable to come up with processes and systems that will help align and assist, we are here as councillors. I know you take us as people who are schooled and everything. But we are here as councillors and professionals to offer certain help to ensure that at least there's redress to some of these things that are needing up. Because at the end of the day, no one blames council management. It is always these useless councillors who allow water to flow with reckless abandon all the time. Thank you, councillor. I think the relevant department is not here. Councillor Owen Pofu. Thank you. Uh, since I come around now, because you can't say that it's a state of winning. Who can say that, Matam? As I did request, I'm still on that uh, item in a day. I am a best year man. As I did request, the case from my ward, where I come from, so go lay coach. He coach, he coach, and a man's a man's a man's a best lay. So now, his motors are going to good. It is caused by Ama Best. Ama Zakele is two days work, So his motors are going to good. So the department they can rely on the studies of smart DC. Going up at what six? What happens? What happens? What do you have to see? Could they go to see? Could they go to see? And the man's at just imagine uh, how painful it is. So I'm trying to emphasize on what the reaction yet must improve. I propose what for everyone knows what CEO in the That's the biggest constituency now in, in Blawa. I told that I'm a councillor. The city no. 
I think because of what he has said as water, he has been laid over there. Kuna civil department, civil office, elama department, so on. He can be called to the house of office. We have a salary rate news because geographically, there is a seven zero because of the amount of distance. And it's a new location. Ellen, that was in name as a father, I'm a private developer. Ama areas now are doing so on our private developers. You are just like a cool. So I suggest to you, I'm a department so okay. I have is up office, a couch pad. Because you have a local see, sit down there, that's where I'm on the money and I shake up home. You can't compare it to the best. I'm not sure if it's probable. I'm not sure if it's possible. I'm not sure if it's possible. You are too clear. I used to go to the coach. I used to go to the coach. I used to go to the coach. I used to go to the serious problem. So, I suggest to you. I used to go to the coach. I used to go to the coach. I used to go to the coach. The office, the other departments, so on, can have a culture pack so that we are responding very fast. I'm about to enter the kitchen, and the kitchen is just a little bit more equipment than one day. Sometimes when you are going to move out, now when we build the departments, like we build corner, the culture pack, they will just walk and go and close proper pool and instruct you to go and zogan, go and zogan, go 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 ahead of the department. As you move in, you will see some of the office layers. I move a motion with the agents that are local. All the departments is working. Now, as the way finance, now as the way people are finding it very difficult. What is not the attend? So that's my suggestion, Your Worship. So I'm a councillor. I'm a councillor. K. Item three. Yeah. Sorry, item two. Councillor S. Tole. ndaweyeka <laughs> Eashali <laughs> And the good how we phone now we pay the good management. We just pay good to lack of the zoom is. I'm a bit more phone. I'm a doctor. We are true. From where do we take some help? We just see. Maybe in a more than each other. We're not even saying it. We are not even going to have to make a decision to that extent. We are not zoom is. We are going to have 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 ま、だけさんこれだ。とかなまフォンディスペンドに。ワチエバー、イブナスコーバーマンスコーテスペンドに。ディスライディングナスアスリフォネラ。だけさんディスペンドに。ディスペンドに。ディスペンドに。ディス
sometimes tina tani tina is ama kanzi la zuri kile zipitch between ama residents and council management. And if kumabuya iskala zuri, unje kala ukuti soko tu kugira mans. If ya mi paratu mans, katese zuri speak. And then when you communicate with the local zen, not only ama base of pain, but general communication with regards to service delivery. They involve the engineering department. We always find it to be very difficult because one, eh, they hardly take, like they hardly pick up a pause. And as they pick a request, they respond to your response. You know, you told. It takes a lot of eh, 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 effort. Eh, I've got a request you know, that I made sometime last week. Up to now, they've not yet been responded to. If only they ring a CV, sometimes you send a message, you don't get a phone line, eh, but then I respond down to, to issues. And the law, when I wrap up my residence, you have to give them my answers. At the end of the day, when you have become, you become what? a failure, just because of e, 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 e lack of response from a, a, a certain department. So, the department is special in terms of communication. And then also the other thing is that there are things that are supposed to be done over the, in terms of procedure. They are supposed to be done by certain departments. Uh, I mean, I think it becomes unfair for him in management to expect us every time we have issues, so we can direct us, so we can say one. If we are one to that, they can delegate in our respective areas. For example, if we have an area where I come from Makweku, it falls maybe under a mountain. They should just give us the nearest person that we can talk to. Of course, I can make a report, and then I should also have someone that I can talk to. Not to every item, so we can phone to direct. Everything, so we can say, so we can land, we can say, so we can say, these people have a pants. I think they can actually attend to us faster than to be a bureaucracy and allow details to go to director, to go to board before we are to a person who is supposed to attend to, to that problem. Uh, so, um, uh, and then the other issue uh, on the issue of Yama base. I mean, I think of team, uh, as a council, if you are not uh, careful, one of the days we are going to be sued by Yama residents. I've got an example of a house in, 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 my, in the ward uh, where I come from, in, in ward 18. Abatala for more than three years, we parked up a man's best pan, pan. Even to the any as they figure to a point, Dr. Mans, we say Puma pants, we could flow just because of your water paste. Imagine if that person was going to wake up one day, he says, I'm sick, coach. Are we are not going to be embarrassed as a council? Just failing to come in that end, you know, because in water paste, which was reported several times before I even became a councillor. So I think these things we have to take them very, very, very serious. Because one of the days is council says I lose an animal lesson in life, says he is so my residence because we are failing to attend to some of these problems. Thank you. That was item two. What item? Three. Go ahead. Niabo Ankos. Niza, do not pay for item two and sell item three. No, it's fine. It's fine. Listen, city, you need to go chairperson the committee. Aki. Amans Lana had to move him up quickly for a long time. And as we see, it is sitting, it's been the city in my residence. It's been long, it's been reported as well as we see, we are full of the Hambanja. Mobang any best, a serious, do the Emma quickly, do the vote along my say, Pambit. I think I want to have a name, Bab, one and Labet Lalapana M. Quaque. Since you have item three, goes. item three, uh, our sewer section. Our challenges are that we are not in committee, very department. We are not going to be able to put as many things to the law and to put it in the plan of the vandalism of men or to put it in the plan of the councillors. This is the information is a committee. Since the awareness campaign, we are coming to it. So we are going to put it in the plan of the they don't even know what he gubambe ilogichilongombe libambe umpefumulonga kanani lilodwa li committee li department so zilikuwe nelisi mhlawumbe lingakuya linase li repair tina lathi sihamba sichumayela ivangeli kodwa ke lisincedise nge information ngoba asiqeqechanga ngilelo department bese ngisithi lapha nelithi ishota khona izimota we once suggested, I think it was a foot. Uguti, Lapo Opu, Lali Telina, Ama Sua, Abakonaga, Kulunga, Fulamas. 
Asachi yes tukuti linali yawazi ukuthi ngilange lingaka livula amanzi emagwegwe. Imoto ethile kayihambe iye hlalela emagwegwe. Ukwenzela ukuthi unamba 34 stroke 10 emagwegwe maye sithi kule suwa ibe iseduze igijime ihle isincedi semasinyana. Rather ni ukuthi imoto isuke emahatshula ngaleso sikhathi yabe semahatshula igijime iye emagwegwe. Yabe kusitsha kufiweli kusitsha entweni eziningi lesikhathi. I think the committee, who can allow for land transfer, allow for na umbo na kona ungeko o moshi, kumbi unga kaga tega ngako tuage. Buyani le mnye imbo no, eza yenza sile sile zimote zbuchana, sila abalu abaluchana, asiseve nzeni ngoku kwa. Kate sinje ngi committee, yuo umbo no enga ni tele wuti ngas nga ufaga. Dasi tifla pana adila lile shote of human resources. Hanga zingosi worship. Last time, sasa sakuuluma. Kwa kwa baba le reporti yangu tuko kuhuluma ndo sevu meduti sikaj. Kila ni ni pele chia pesi. Bali ni mti sababu kaja. Bila limenta ni abonga ngosi. Thank you. Any other intervention, Councillor Muinde? I'm panned with sorry. Let me see what it. Each and every corner in Hamburg, in my Chinga Kulin, or Western Sabbath. As I want to listen, need to work in your work ninety. Nizemba Mabal in short, Bengen is a door to back. One eight years and your own food, Lamadi was a sewer. I went on about a little lap. Yes, please, the oldest morning is still a sewer. Next now, we get a little bit of the Mukha. in 2018, when I became the councillor, uh, it was always an issue uh, of uh, this war. And uh, from 2018 up to now, it's 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, now 24. We are continuously talking about the same thing. And this issue has been always been raised before even I became my country in 2018. In my work, for example, there are areas that are known but these are hot spots. And they will be talking about them, reporting, sometimes taking the management to those areas. But now I think it's almost seven to six years and nothing has been done to try to sort out those issues. And literally, at some houses, occupants are no longer using the other door because of this sewer channel. And nothing is being done. I, 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 I'm praying that one day you wake up and say, hey, we have sorted out this issue. We can now zero in on other issues. But over sewer system, says we say, Yabona ama 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 interventions that are written plans that I pray that this will come into fruition and you stop talking about these uh, sewer issues. It is not okay that you always talk about the one same thing time for more than ten years talking about what sports of sewer as if we we don't care. So I think to the community. Uh, take this issue seriously and make sure that they are these issues are addressed. Moreover, I'm a resident, my phone, they communicate to us and say, Cancela, for how long shall we continue to talk about this issue? It's now 10 years. Are you telling me it can't say the world can't say cannot come and fix this issue? Then they say, no, Cancela law is ineffective. He's not even reporting. It will impact back on us. So 
I don't know. Maybe I'm not schooled in the area of this department. What's so What's so complicated about pipes that it it can take ten years to just make sure that it is being fixed? Maybe well, it's to answer the council of Mombasa. For the past six years, what have been the response? Has come my sewer management here. It is Kubabara. No, they say we are coming. Baba, we show us it. We can't say footy, and it's a it's a challenge that has been always there. Is there no so permanent solution to deal with that? I think it is expensive to constantly come to deal with the one issue rather than to deal with it once and for all. I I think to me it's it's easier. It's less expensive to deal with an issue. Then you know that I will deal with this one. We are moving forward. And the, I, I'm not sure what the, the issue of uh, if I know it is some some works does not need too much money to say I will have money so that we can buy these pipes and fix. These are simple issues to me. It, it really pains me and challenges me, it, 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 especially my residents. They have said, no, councillor, one time I was being phoned every soon. They came at, at my house to say, no, come, we want you to see what's happening. Okay. Thank you, Councillor Maposa. So, so I'm just stressing your worship to say these issues must be dealt with. Don't want to come time and time and raise same issues for more than 10 years. Yeah. From then, the well, Councillor Dov Mabu, eh, Mabu Twain, Councillor Spa. The Kangala Langa, Zit Gap, will be the next. Go ahead, Councillor. I'm still on E. Sua. Your worship, I'm worried me. Try Brom. E. Sua, Yana Panasoma, Lavantana, Vesomani, Vitam, La Pavata, Hela Pon, Pavata Ponamans. And it's so painful because aren't an abana even the living conditions part we I I think we need to do something about it now. I wanted to ask you to cancel the Nyan because my nye cancel would rather see valley if you renovate. Because all I want to another charity gates, I want to make gates it to the demands. And I want to another charela conapa. I think for the last month we lost two. I want to another conapa. And this is why I'm calling to get a tongue. He said, He said, I'm going to give you a kind of long room for long and you move along, baby. Really, it's so disheartening. My of you, not a part of one of one. I was saying, I want to have a food or something. I don't know if we can also come with a plan. You need a man to wash another part, but I can't see. I can't give value in your knowledge because the living conditions there are something else. Thank you, Councillor and Dobu. Thank you very much, Your Worship. I think when we talk about the same uh, issue, yeah, same issue. Okay. it's quite critical because it has a bearing on people's health and we need to talk about this one to exhaustion and look at the uh, areas uh, where possible interventions should come. Look, I think the issue of uh, sewage and chokes, yes, while there may be the first thing they are watching is that uh, Shortage of water and sewerage shocks are Siamese twins. They go hand in glove. That, that one is, is, is recorded. We all know it. But apart from uh, the shortage of water, uh, while there may be engineering designs, uh, defects, while there may be, you know, obsolete uh, pipes that need uh, that have collapsed inwards, as we are always told by our technical experts here. There is a factor which we mustn't run away from. As councillors, we need to self-introspect, be honest with ourselves, and tell each other the truth, do a lot of awareness raising down there. Why am I saying this? I happened to visit a site where a, a plant <coughs> was clearing sewer. And guess what? When they were pulling out the material that had choked the pipe, I saw spoons there. I, small, I saw small tennis shoes. <coughs> I saw rags. 
I saw some pampas, mm -hmm. I saw some stones which had gone into the system. And you want to tell me that these things can go into the reticulation system on their own? Mm -hmm. Certainly not. So it comes back to us uh, to say in every world feedback meeting, let's make it a, a monthly feedback meeting item <laughs> agenda to say we need to raise awareness amongst the residents because some of the things which are found in there are foreign bodies which are thrown in there by the human factor. Thank you. Thank you. What you have just said it makes a lot of sense. Councillor Mabuto, uh, Councillor Thank you very much. Thank you, Councillor Andov. You spoke like an engineer. <laughs> uh, you should be a uh, member of the committee. And this is why I asked for time out because the team is under attack. Maybe. And we should be assisted. Sorry, Councillor Mabuto. Maybe you have a tool that will support the government. Because what I'm thinking, Your Worship, is that yeah. the same, every councillor is raising the same issue. So I feel that we should respond to the same time. Right, go ahead. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, may I start with the issue which was raised by Councillor Mazzana on the fire tenders? We, we as council, we sat and we came up with the resolution. Our resolution was not the Belarus fire tenders. It's on record, you can inspect that resolution. We have got it. We had said to government, we want yellow machines. Caterpillar has great dance to blow our roads and everything. But the government forced those fire tenders to us against our council resolution. Our resolution was clear, but well, in terms of authority, they've got power, uh, which is above us. So I wanted to set the record straight there. Now, coming to the issues uh, of best, uh, which are happening, uh, every, almost every council is crying about the best uh, in every ward and everywhere. Uh, one of the key issues which we should look at as policymakers, what is the cause of those best? Some of the key points have been picked by Councillor Ndov, well articulated by Councillor Ndov. And you will find that in this season of, uh, of water crisis, we are going to experience a lot of best and we will live with them because of the following reasons. We have got a lot of slag which accumulates in our system. You see, Agula Manzi, uh, every human waste, it clogs into our system. Imagine what happens. We once, as a city, introduced what we call the big flash where we're encouraging every resident every morning to just flush the system so that the system is challenging the oil. Those are some of the causes of our place. Second, you will not uh, worship that uh, we, this is a ballooning population. You see, the system is no longer able to contain the Lord. Because when these uh, suburbs were designed, you see, uh, you know that during the colonial era, or in the early 90s, early 80s, there was limited, um, uh, <laughs> limited number of people who were supposed to live in the urban area. So it was a controlled system. Imagine that they are in the city. What happens to our system? And at the same time, this then would then ask for us to change, to redo our, our, what, our system. And it costs money. We are a, a, a council, a council which is ailing, which is on the financial doldrums, operating on a shoestring budget. I'm sure you're aware of the status of our finances as a, as a, as, as a city. So it will call upon what you said. We need to educate residents. We are told it as singer. It was a Zapata, we call upon the system. Imagine a pamper out in Yeti Kukuma in the system. And at the same time, we then come into the same council and blame the same council. Let's educate our residents. Our system uh, are blocked by our residents. Discourage residents from cultivating along our swanite. We had one company in Machoma who went and put a bag of cement in the main wall. Expect so that even water is guarded. You see. So we are we are our so we are our own utility, we are bewitching ourselves as a city. Residents must know they must take responsibility and be responsible to be responsible residents. 
ukuthi bani bakithi isuwa silo dolozeni you see in god but when they up every year not god but whoever all the people for diary and god whereby residents are now going to those streams some are called they are eating those vegetables some of the vegetables are sold you see so let's educate the in our feedback meetings let's tell residents the dangers of god waiting around the sewer line you see those who are temporary right now go to popoma right now we can go for two months without any sewer waste you see Let's educate our residents. Oh, you will find that your worship. Your worship. Councillor Mareza. Your worship, man. I may ask you to pray I, for both for it, so, so it causes high best, your worship. Yes. In Machua, we investigated what actually is caused. That is, we discovered that the design of their trailer, there were those squatting pads, you see. Imagine what happens during the rain season. The sand water gets into the system. Even you walk into the toilet uh, with your shoes, there's a mound of sand with a teaspoon. When you finish bathing, you, you flush and eat the water into the system. How many houses are in, this, in, in that area? And how much sand gets into our system? So we need to quantitize, we need to educate our residents. You see, it has, it has taken the able the leadership of your good council <laughs> to engage <laughs> residents to talk about these things. Now, on his will, I was to cancel my post. Is it six years, seven years, ten years? Look at school, my day one. As a city, impending, we sit here. As councillors, fellow councillors, Tina see link between our residents and the council. Tina, we have got privileged information more than our residents. It's what I'm saying. Our residents are sneaking my day three, five years, which is what I'm really cancelling. Similarly, privileged information. It's the only Siba fundi se, siba chelo kwenye zaga la. Patwani siku tini ba warit, na is councillors large se siba skala ni amari siku zaga la privileged information. Tena kasi kala ni utangu sio na utangu chibu ni tani. Askala ni siku chibu. Goba tina siku system, si ya system asla. Ama system. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm the one who's speaking. Zana kanzila. Respect. Respect. What I'm saying, Sile Lunge Lutina, is our right and privilege as councillors. Which is the company's decision for this. And this is a law, two person law. Councillor Mavuto and Councillor Ainjo, we have explained and assisted a lot. Lot as much as you complain of service delivery, see push with the Zagali. Also, let's conscientize our residents. Councillor Ellis Vanda, before Councillor Zichka, then I will take more hands. <coughs> So, Thank you. In the ruling, you see, where item three is now oversubscribed. May we move to other issues within that committee, within that report. I don't think 
Uguti Linel Pamsi Zanza. These are Kuluma something different from what they've been said before. Ponga Kuluma something is a Kulun you in Zakshadisha Pass. Zakala on Kansela Moyo, Nibuego Moyo, Nibuego Matsan, and Nibuego Ove, and Tinem or Moy. Ponga Kulum just a Kulun you have Kansa Pass. You can't sleep here, I tell me what. Kansela Moy. So Thank you, Councillor Moyo. Another Councillor Moyo? Yes, I'm going to be very proud. 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 I'm going to be very but I've seen this trend. Most of some of these players are just in the past. after maybe a year or two after it was in the same We have some of the issues. I was so out to work. And then also, sometimes we have to flash two times just because of me. But my errors have been in the process. And I've had a, a, a situation in my ward where one of the employees actually confirmed to know Napa coins or coins here. Such as an lady changed, then I don't know what thing that was it right to do. So, whenever I was looking at coins here, but just because me, for example, coins are much cut, or quite a problem, Lianna, I get a range. I don't now see coins of the problem, which is now a bit in the Amaso. Then also, there's an issue, uh, this one is, is, is also related to in the Vazesua, but it's also to do, I don't know whether it's, it was under a term plan. Where you try, you would see, in my ward, there's an area where, um, like, fire, papi, kwa stains on top of the road, wakuli tara. Now, kuna wale suwa best, ama anza langeka across it, because tara le yari pesu. Tara isi hati, like, we are told wakuli tara across the yard. Now, tara le yari pesu, and the other also end is also, like, pesu. So, in terms of the suwa, even ama drainages, ama suwa kanuluana cannot flow, why? Because... <coughs> I don't know how it was designed to put it in a itara is a like a a a a pan the gulu kusin kwe 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 like a ati nisi so kuna pan I don't know whether it falls under town planning kumbi kwe engineering but I think it's an issue that I thought it was worth raising thank you Councillor Moyo you are the last speaker on this item Councillor Moyo you have spoken on this item you can't repeat Councillor Emma the way era Councillor Moyo Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm the one telling. I won't give you the opportunity. What explanation is this? Thank you, Oshiba. Yeah, thank you, Oshiba. I think this one is the European issue that concerns the city of Bulawa. And you, as councillors, you are here to proffer solutions like you highlighted earlier on. Uh, I'm proposing that maybe going forward, since you have got a new department, monitoring and evaluation department. They are supposed to be maybe part of the people who are assisting with the, making sure that we have got the right people who are being given the jobs, maybe concerning the positive uh, issues that will be taking place in the certain setups. Surely you are already overwhelmed, uh, maybe with sewer based and we can't be giving people jobs who then come and uh, on top of the jobs that uh, the city council is overwhelmed and pile pressure on the city council. So let's give competent people the right jobs. Let's have the monitoring evaluation team also presenting their issues. Maybe also to the engineering department, 
maybe at this point, Jancha, we need also to change our system, maybe our the way our, our maybe drawing maps or whatever we call it. We need to now incorporate that maybe if we are give, doing work as it can see, we know that maybe we have got the challenges of pampas and the likes now. Let's have a, a new systems that we are incorporating such that new setups that are coming up, they don't have the similar problems that we are already having. So let's change our model because the one speaker says doing something, the same thing over and over again is insane. We have seen that those pipes, they were made maybe for a small population and things that we are now using uh, that are passing through those pipes. Maybe we have admitted that there are pumpers that are being put there. So let's change the designs. Let's not just come here and uh, just talk about the same thing over and over again. So we need a report going forward uh, that would be speaking to what we have discussed from the engineering department and the new drawing designs that uh, the works that we are going to be doing in the new suburbs that we are going to develop as council, whether in partnership with other developers or as it can see, that's the report that you want to see here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any other pressing issue in this uh, report? <laughs> item seven. Right. Sorry. Item seven. Seven. Why? Nine. But sorry, before you speak, let me explain one thing. Today, I am the presiding officer of this council meeting. <laughs> I should balance the debate with the time. Yes. We are halfway through the meeting and check the time we have taken. Yes. It will be my control today. Accept it. Yes. You might think that I'm harsh, but in Kamele reality, it's cut. Sing a kulumi, just a kulumi on moon, you will love me kulumi. Was only just a convinced that I know we funa. Kulumo, you know, said to you, I sell a big sand lapas, you lose nothing. Cancel a cage of item seven. Thank you. The phase one A equatin chairperson the committee ako in the engineering department say us the twenty two departments again. Oh two two seven zwabo, usum luchana seven for casa gashe and twenty ilo ilo diabo abaiki way. Ama la it lana se quotin a dim. Let's so look at this child who Kulumako and the San Anzella. He overpopulation of Blower. No, I want to save a child, save a sugar, sugar, thing, some baby sugar, whoop, you whoop, save a hair and a panna with Ama dim lights. I want to swap for her angles in your banjo in goods. Western City Committee again, Uma Walton pays La Panna. Sally improved Leganan, Moguti Amacombang upper. Asele order. So say lower armor on your now or armor on your right side. Uh, I'm proposing which a person in the committee could engage the relevant associations in your wife, which is a panel and genam association. Engage the relevant associations. Google the order. Google the two mother have the whole party street. The motors in general is Puma, you find two motor in Puma and Zima. My lazy and as I was proposed the last one again. Thank you. And some item eight. Nine. Nine. Okay, quiet. Thank you very much, Roshi. The chairperson of the engineering committee, if you recall, in November, the council, I want to trust you and your respective respected committee and department to talk out to part and at least appreciate the situation on the ground with respect to Amaro. But this is a in 2024. <laughs> that is what we are saying. Just to appreciate the situation, they are my roads. We are going to go to the road to cut the park. We know that the cut the park is a new setback. I will not touch the road. I have requested a number of times through the department, the new department here with, and through the call center. We at least to the same cover. Eh, but 
Thanks, Councillor Nyati. Straight to the point, very short. Yes. Go ahead, Councillor. When Thank you, Councillor Mabeza. Before M. Moyo, what item Mabeza? Go ahead. Item nine. Oh, item nine. Well done, Councillor Moyo. Thank you, Your Worship. Item nine. Yes. You are very passionate talking about the roads. But where I live, in Mkani, in Council and you can attest that there are efforts that are being made and they have moved around the area here, the road is, was done, then there is another road near Monarch that was done. Today when I was coming to town, the land road is being done. So I'm seeing some positives in this department and the we are grateful for the job that is being done. <laughs> So, but also what gives me hope is you've been saying that you are supposed to be disruptive. Recently, the council has passed a resolution where you're engaging partners that you are supposed to be having a pitching plant for the city of Ulawa. All these roads will be uh, fixed. It's giving me hope that it's just a matter of time when everything, the paperwork is finalized, when the city council has got its own pitching plant, the roads are going to be maintained. And it has always been the desire for the residents to make sure that the, the roads are rehabilitated using the because I'm grateful you've been from the chamber secretary when we were talking, when we were uh, uh, receiving some bartenders. I told you that she's doing a good job because at the end of the day, if you put bartenders, whether donated or what, those are the, the disruptive measures that you are always alluding to. So this department is now on the right trajectory. And, uh, uh, <laughs> I could not doubt that in the coming few months, the roads where you are supposed to be getting money from Zinara, now we are not just coming and saying, it's just Zinara give us money, but we are doing something. This the, the people who elect us, they elect us not to just come here and sit down and say, ah, the country doesn't have money, but they expect us to offer solutions. Those disruptive measures are the things that people want from, from us, councillors, the management and staff. Thank you so much. Thank you. Councillor Mabeza. What item is that? I want to. Same item. Same item. Okay, let's hope we won't say anything. It's a cool news. So, I'm going to avoid it. Thank you, Worship. Yes. I'm very much for the same item. I could not mind victimizing. I could not victimize. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yes. But I think uh, my counselor, who is a bit, uh, he emphasized on an area, a lama challenges are more cool. Uguti, Agula Tara, Agulan, 
So, good my challenges. Kuna kwa nukutu kumufi. Eh, the department is trying because he came sometime in the world. So he's requesting Musha Guti to put down more points and more challenges. That's why he's grabbing Uganda because the way the, the, the rate, the area did up its head in the road, in more than so, we can the end of the whole time. So we still clarify on that. Yeah, well, we need to, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Councillor Mabiza. Thank you. Yes. Um, yeah, item 11. Item 11. Thank you. Then traffic control and safety. Yes. When I'm doing my school and money. Yes. When I'm using the inside road. I don't know what is inside the inside. But you glamour accidents are money that can intersection Yana Ega Cecil. My inside is it. We need ama ama solar robots because every day, every day the morning. <coughs> Then we see still now. Oh, we still have a lot of less space. Con, in the end, that's the man. Now come back when I pa. That road is narrow. It is narrow in general. Guma edges, gula ma portals. So, in modern times, pamba na la pa. Oh, you want me la ayebka lego muye omye. So, guba le le spiti spiti con a pa. Then when you try to run away from this road, you use lay a fazak. Kusisi ukute marupoti nda anana pana vloksi inga choshua nko. Ama kukuta mkuda la hachoni nga sevins. And there are always accidents also every day. And ama residents kwa watfo. Kuku kwa watfo. They are always talking about ama ropos nda because they have claimed so many lives. So angazi uti if it's possible we put ama solar robots in. Ama solar lights in those robots. No, we are in item 12, my brother. I'm sorry. Councillor Moyo? Oh, go ahead, Zidka. You may be saying that. No, we are 124. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank the <laughs> So I want to have a vacation manager. And the months and the last degradation <laughs> then <laughs> So, innocent 
So what even people are not even interested in that. They are not even measures who inspect that. Who do you think are approved? That's a thing that we have to consider. In general, such as still what you might say, what you can have on a mobile operation, you change a pin that we have to see a mask. Who do you think are just in the name? Yes, Makapa. Who do you think are just in the name? Yes, yes, yes. As land, you change a pin that we have to see a mask. Who do you think are just in the name? Yes, yes. Yes, and pushing I saw the players don't sing a enforce. And the department they are getting what is in his mood. He keeps him and any young boy who wants to venture. So, councillor, it's more you. Now, I need a department for a brief comment. Who could be a mafia tenders? The infusibility in the cross are they section A department delay. Nature would team my councillors, they to look for a bubble oil. O mele sibonge sa apreciate tegulo kana zeshino uta ya operation Florie, a United Kingdom. Isi tone tele three far tenders and the other safety equipment worth over one million US dollar. Bengela sibonge rakul sa Chinese dance abroad. Thank you so much. Then bengela o mele department briefly na wala ma issues, but na yeye ko we move to the next annex. Chair person. Do you want to comment? Yes, thank you. If you want to comment, you want to comment. Yes, thank you. You want to comment. Yes, thank you. Yeah, because if you want to comment, you want to comment. Yes, thank you. 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 Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In quarter, it will be in stages. So, as in stages, now we have the Malia. So, we see maybe six below base A, below base B, below base C. Now we have the Malia base maybe C for one portion of the road. We cannot continue. We cannot just leave that either. Look at the high cliffs. This is the high summit of the Malia. And if we see Malia, na ibela ezinara na ezinara inga la release ama fans. There's no way. We can continue. See, see, continue. We are going to have a cash constraint. Then, we will put the councillor, the councillor, who are going to be the salary of the package. We are going to have a cash appreciation. We are going to have a cash appreciation. We are going to have a cash I will check on where I go. I can't find it. Address the chair of this meeting, not individual. So, Your Worship, thank you. Okay. If we are in booth, we will be in Nanga. We will be in Nanga. I will be coming to the council. I will be particular. But we are not going to be. Okay. On the issue of Amasua, okay, Grandi Mumelu, which is going to be in We have since uh, received a go ahead from ESPOC to engage Amasua contractors uh, from next week. Lizana, there is a lot of people who are going to be in Amasua chokes, Amasua best. Just like road designs. So our designs are designed to, uh, for a specific period of, 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 of years. So most of our sewers have gone past their, their design life. Uh, so I'm a, in English, they say a, a chain is as strong as its weakest link. So no matter what you say, father, my pipe was in doubt, what has come as Pechela's chi, and still we are going to have our sewer. Chokes la maswa base kuna pana guamalo kuzeni kama ogutana la pesa risi kuna singa fara kona ama pipe amaja so kati kati we need funding we need like what councillor pome was saying we need to partner with other partners so that they may do a complete overhaul of the sewer reticulation system in in most of the old suburbs then. Going to issue your mass, a reason you consider Matlamu, you will note that on weekends we have standby teams. So 
it won't be they, they won't be fully fledged teams it's like just like part kwama being part way being and why it has they delay these people it's because we, we don't have uh, the capacity to pay you know what they mean over time because so for us to pay over time i see that we don't have that capacity as, as council uh, then uh, going ahead Salama, bulong yung kansi na sa inyong kanyang tumban. Go akun ma, ugo akun ma. Uto na kana why can't we decentralize? Ama, uto ba ni mota ba ng apat ya sa isang apa? Uto ba ni katu pa gama sa station? We are already decentralized. Sile, sile town, sile kulumani, sile magutweli, sile katu pa. So ama yung mapa is ayon sa galaw sa like what I said to you, you watching. I think it's like na lapa for now. Thank you so much. What should we do to the report? Move. Thank you. We go to Alex Chai, Townlands, Chairperson, Councillor Net. Worship, Tantric, my fellow councillors, members of staff, and stakeholders. I move that the report of the Townlands and Planning Committee meeting held on the 19th of March 2024 and submit, submitted, be received, and the various recommendations contained therein be adopted. Thank you, any seconders from the same committee? Yes. Thank you. Any issues or matters arising from the report? Councillor Mabuto. Move the report, your ship. Thank you. <laughs> we move to the next panel chair, Alex Chair F. General Purposes Committee. I move that the report of the General Purposes Committee meeting held on the 25th of March 2024, is submitted, be received, and the various recommendations contained therein be adopted. Any second from the same comment? Thank you. Any issues with the report? Thank you. We go to the last report, Annex F, Annex G, Finance and Development Committee, Chairperson Councillor Moyo. Sixth of March, 2024, is submitted, be received, and the various recommendations contained therein be adopted. Any second from the same committee? Thank you. Any contributions? Councillor Rindani Adrian Moyo. Which item? Item eight. Go ahead. Thank you, Yoshi. Yoshi, as what two councillor, I know for a fact that Mr. Andrew's home in Hartley mm -hmm. was damaged by flooding due to inadequate drainage yes. systems, oh, causing significant yes, property damage which borders on council negligence. Yes. The flooding led to adverse health impact on Mr. Andrew's children who developed asthma due to continuous exposure to a moist environment and he himself has been in and out of hospital due to stress-related conditions as council has been daily dying on compensating him. My other concern is that the information used for the compensation decision may have been concealed or inadequately considered, warranting a revaluation of the compensation value. I therefore propose that in addition to monetary compensation, Mr. Job should be given a piece of land to build his property anew based on the precedent set before where people are also compensated for their household properties. I thank you, Your Worship. What are we saying? Yeah, who is the crazy in the room? So, by the time I'm ready, Councillor Emma, you heard him, that is straw in proper English now, when it comes to English. Thank you. Now, what should we do to the report? Thank you so much. I very so much. Ah, <laughs> 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 <
Don't play into the jaws of the crocodile. How jelly, me and Sarah couldn't meet the Savan. Sorry. At this juncture, I, may I receive the application for leave from counselor? Often we have leave. I'm not sure. Thank you, Nayengeko. This meeting is therefore adjourned, and may we all meet in council committee. I thank you.